guys so in this video we're going to be setting up our we're going to hook up our parser with some html the first thing i want to do is set up kind of a little restaurant class which we can use to store all our data so i'm just going to create a new java class call it restaurant and then i'm just going to give it a couple of members so we're going to give it a string for the name of the restaurant um, it's going to have a main URL, which is for the main business page. And it's also going to have like a picture URL. Um, and then also if we take a look at our emulator real quick. So we have the name, the image URL. This is we're going to have a bunch of different pictures for the restaurant because we don't want to just show one. We're going to be able to swipe upwards and show many. So we're actually going to show a list of strings which is going to be pictures and import that class and then right here we're going to have a string at the bottom private string which is going to be rat rating and cat so we'll call it rate cat all right now we're just going to generate some getters and setters mm -hmm. generate Kitchen setters for all our classes. Nice. Now let's create a constructor. And for a constructor, we would like to have a name and then the main URL. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to set main URL using main URL. And whenever main URL is set, what we want to do, so that's this URL without the photos, so just the slash biz. Um, and what we want to do is we also want to set the picture URL. So string, so pick URL. Um, we basically want to manipulate it. So first we want to replace biz with photos. So this dot pick URL is equal to main URL dot replace and replacing slash biz with slash biz photos. And then this dot pick URL plus equal. Uh, there's one other thing in that I would like to add. So notice um, it gives a bunch of options. They have outside drink of different types of pictures. I just want to look at pictures of food. So we can just add a tab. Uh, and that'll add that to the end of the URL and give us all these pictures. Okay, that's looking good. So this is our little restaurant. Now if we go back to our main activity, what we'd like to do is, if this is not null, we first, this is going to be, get the list of businesses. Business list. Which is response.body.businesses. And then what we'd like to do is create a list of restaurants out of these businesses. So we'll create that up here. Restaurants. So restaurants is equal to a new array list. And for each business, in business list, we're just going to go through. And we'd like to first create a restaurant object. So uh, restaurant r. r is equal to a new restaurant. Passing in b.name and b.main.url. Um, next thing we'd like to do is we'd like to, if we look at a restaurant, we'd like to set the um, 
the rating and the categories. So if we look at B dot categories, we'll notice it's an array list of categories. If we look at rating, the rating is a double. So we need to first change uh, we're going to do r dot set rate cat and what we're going to do is we're going to do b dot rating plus b dot categories is what we'd like to do put a space in between them but b dot categories is um, not a string it's a list of categories so cat to string this is a function we can create to convert it. So let's create that real quick. And we want it to return a string. Oops. We'll return an empty string for now. We'll finish that off in a second. I'm just gonna do business or restaurants. Okay, so we created this um, R object or this restaurant. We would then like to get the pictures for this restaurant. Um, to get the pictures for this restaurant, we have to go, uh, we're going to use OK HTTP, go to this page and get the HTML and pass it to a restaurant parser. So, private string. Actually, it's going to be void, so I'm going to return anything. And it's going to be get pictures. Or we should call it fetch pictures. And we pass a restaurant. So we'll worry about that in a second. Let's go ahead and just fill in how our code's going to work. So we're just going to fetch pictures. OK, so basically what's going to happen is we're looping through every business. Um, creating a restaurant out of it, and then we're going to get the pictures for that restaurant. And then we'll get all the restaurants and all the pictures for them, and then we'll be able to use that in our app. So let's implement these now. It's category to string. So I'm going to use a string builder for this, so it's a little bit more efficient. And we're just going to do a for loop. For an i is equal to zero, i is less than categories dot size, i plus plus, and we're to string builder dot append, and we append the category. Categories dot get i. Oops, we don't want to do that. And then we just want to do get the name of that category. Now we'd like to space it out with uh, commas, but not the very last one. So we're going to check if i is not equal to categories dot size minus one, we can then do string builder dot append a comma, because we know it's not the last one. And then we just return stringer dot to string. Okay, so that should convert our categories to string okay. And next we're going to fetch pictures. And like I was saying earlier, we're going to have to add new library. OK HTTP. This guy is going to help us um, make our HTT requests. So just add that to our Gradle file. And then we'll just come over here and I'll show you how OK HTT works. And I'll add this link to the description uh, below. So um, we're going to do this asynchronously. So as you can see, it uses execute right here, which is basically the same code we want to use. So we can just copy this. Um, the only thing you'll notice is we don't need run. Get rid of that. And you'll notice uh, this guy, we don't want to be creating a new client object every time. So let's put that in our onCreate. So let's create our client. So OK, HTTP, client, oops, capitalize, OK, H, client, client. 
Okay, so that's creating our client in there, and we can use it below. So we need to get the URL that we're requesting, which is going to be restaurant.get picture URL. And we're going to use our M client to create a new request. What's going on here? Request.builder doesn't like. Think. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. Get rid of that. We're going to do dot um, in queue. New callback. And then I think what we just need to do here, new request. I think there's two type, oops. I think my IDE is just being funky. If I do request dot builder, oh, you can see there it's getting Picasso, not, uh, okay, HTTP, oops. Request dot builder. What we would like to get is the OKHTTP okay, request.builder. So let's see if we can find that request. Okay, so we just need to pin this with OKHTTP3. Okay, Okay, so all that was happening there was the request was getting confused with the P Picasso request, so we just needed to change this so that his uh, two libraries have the same name, so we just had to change that right there, and so it should be working now. Okay, so what's happening now is we're going to be making a request. We make a request, um, we then execute it, we're enqueuing it, so this is happening asynchronously, um, so we can run a bunch at the same time. And then in our on response, on failure, we're ignoring that. If it, we don't get any pictures, that's fine. Um, but what we're doing is we're going to this page right here. Um, and then when we get to that page, what we would like to do is we would like to get a list of pictures. So that's a string pictures, which is equal to, remember that restaurant parser we just made? Well, we can now use that restaurant parser dot get pictures. Now we pass in the HTML, which is in our response object, dot body, and then dot string. And this will create the pictures. Um, the only other thing is, we don't know, we need to see how we made a uh, restaurant object up here. We just need to tell it which object it should go here. So we're just going to create an integer i, which is equal to 0, and have i as another parameter to our fetch pictures. So in position, and then we just need to increment i. So that way down here, um, we're just going to add, we're going to get a restaurants object up there. Oops. Dot get i dot position dot set pictures and we pass in pictures and we just need to make this final up here so we can use it in our object. Okay, now that we have fetched a new restaurant, we'd like to update the main thread. So we just call on progress update, passing in our restaurants.get position. And then we just need to change this from a string parameter to a restaurant. And then everything should be working nicely. And then we should also just do a quick error checking if pictures.size greater than zero. So if there's no pictures, we don't care to update the restaurant and publish it. So up here we should have a list of restaurants too in our on create or above our on create. So restaurants. 
M restaurants. M restaurants. Equal to new array list. Array list. Rest. Uh, rest. Forgot the T. Oh okay. yeah. And then down here in the on publish. I'm going to say m restaurants dot add values zero. Okay, so what's happening now is when I call my async task with this execute here, what's happening is it goes and do in background, it calls the Yelp API. When it calls the Yelp API, it gets a list of businesses. And when we get our list of businesses, we're looping through each business, um, creating a restaurant object, and then fetching the uh, picture for those restaurants. So we come down to the picture fetch. Um, we're keeping hold of the position so we know which uh, uh, restaurant to update once we get the pictures. We have a restaurant right here. Um, we're making a request to that restaurant's picture URL, um, which takes us to this page right here. We then uh, use our restaurant parser. Um, once we get the request in this response object right here, this gives us um, the HTML for this page. We then pass it to our restaurant parser, which gets the pictures, passes it to our, uh, and just stores in this pictures variable. And then we make sure that it's not zero. And then we update uh, the restaurant that just we got the pictures for, we set it, and then we do an update. We just updated because we got these pictures for this restaurant. So we have a new restaurant that we can show. So right here, we add it to our M restaurants, which we have up here. So now what we do is when we call this, is it populates this with restaurants asynchronously. So that is looking nice. In our next video, we're going to actually show some stuff on the screen. So this is exciting. So we can see not just this ugly picture, but some actual food.